look how much room I have. Look at this. Look at this. Hey guys, Omar here, and I'm inside the Fuji X-T2 with the 10 to 24, and there's a lot of space in here, a lot of space. So my question today is the 10 to 24, which is one of my favorite lenses, is it a little too wide when you go traveling? I recently went on a trip with my mom. It was her 70th birthday, so I took her to Barcelona. She's never been to Europe, and Barcelona, man, Barcelona was, we enjoyed ourselves. We just ate tapas, oh, the sardines. We love those sardines. <laughs> so before the trip, I had a couple of decisions to make. I didn't know, you know me, I wanna go as light as possible. So what lenses to bring? At first I was contemplating just bringing the 18 to 55. Let me just rock one lens out. Even a prime, I was thinking, the 16. I was gonna bring the 16 millimeter 1.4, which is a great lens. Oh, there's no bottom cap. <laughs> I better put that on there. But having one lens, look how wide this is. Wow, this is great. That's what this lens is so great for. You can just show so much information. I had to clean my office for this video. <laughs> now, sometimes the lens is a little too wide. I brought the 10 to 24 and the 18 to 55 because I know when I do architectural photography, it's always, it's not always about showing the whole building or showing the whole scene. And I think if you were making an album or showing pe people pictures, instead of having the tourist shots, which are really wide, it would be great to show people the details, what makes the city unique, doors and doorknobs. And so the 18 to 55 is the lens I actually used most. If I had to choose between the 10 to 24 or the 18 to 55, I actually zoom in more for architectural photography. But that's not to say that I wouldn't want this guy on the, on the, on, I should, let me calm down. There were two times in which the 10 to 24 was the only lens I could have used. One situation was when we were shooting buildings uh, designed by, by Gaudi. Uh, in Barcelona, there's trees and lampposts and scooters and cars. <laughs> And uh, they were all in the way of the building. So sometimes when I wanted to get a full photo of a building, the 10 to 24 is the only lens I could have used. If I tried to back up, the trees and everything were in the way. And the second place where this lens was perfect for was any kind of cathedral, church, or huge place, a stadium, something where you need to show the whole thing without making a pano. And so when we were in the Sagrada Familia, which is the cathedral of Barcelona, also designed by Gaudi, this lens was invaluable. From video, showing video of it, uh, and also inside, I'll show you right now. Here's an example of an 18 millimeter shot of video. And then here's the 10 to 24, where you can get so much information. Now, sometimes I found this lens was just way too, way too wide. Like if I was on the street recording video, there were things like little scooters and things that were so close to me, but in the video they look so far. And sometimes it just, there's too much information. And so I found for video and even vlogging, I was using the 18 to 55 a little bit better. The distortion in the corners of the 10 to 24 sometimes is unflattering for the GoPro-ness of it. <laughs> Sardines. Patatas and sardines. Two sangria here. The sangria is really strong. I had three sips, I'm already falling asleep. It was good. It was delicious. Really good. We enjoyed it. The best was the sardines. Second best, I think, was the peppers. The peppers. Third, the yeah, papas. The papas and then the anchovies. Yeah, the anchovies were good, but they were like kind of like fried french fries. All delicious, though, yeah. And the sangria was good, too. Oh, yeah. And the waiter was good. Yeah, the waiter was pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in Plaza. ¿Cómo se llama? De Real. De Real. De Real. We were calling it Plaza de Don Pedro because we didn't know. Are 
think? Beautiful. <laughs> We didn't get two rows yet, but we are getting chocolate. There's chocolate here, and uh, gonna dip a little croissant in it. So, two rows soon. So, oh, we found the churros, but uh, it's not time to eat them yet. Had hot chocolate. <laughs> mm, 18. Okay, the Chudo place opened eight minutes ago, so we're headed right to it for fresh. Oh, Look at that basilica. We went to the churrería. Incredible, right? Incredible. Tremendo regalo. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> now, Fujifilm does make a 16 to 80, which seems to be the perfect travel lens. It's the same size as this 10 to 24. It's got a better zoom range. It's not as wide, uh, but it's got a great range there for travel. So I'm excited to try that in one of my future videos. Anyway, there's no right answer. They're all winners, but I just love how. Uh, it looks like I'm in a peephole here. And don't forget, the 10 to 24 goes to 24, duh. And so if you're okay with shooting everything at 24, well, that's a pretty cool focal length. It's the field of view of a 35 millimeter, a normal sort of street lens, and you could shoot everything at 24. Here I am at 24, and it looks totally fine. But come on, it wasn't meant to be. We need to go wide. It's a great travel lens. It's too wide. It's ridiculously too wide, but it's wonderful. It's a fun lens. No, another option is your Rokinon 12 millimeter. This manual focus lens is wide enough. And I think this is great. It's smaller than this 10 to 24. This could be thrown in your bag if you don't shoot wide too much. And so I recommend this El Cheapo manual focus if you like to shoot more you know, 35 millimeter and higher, just have this guy in your bag as you're wide. That's totally fine too. Anyway, I'm definitely going back to Barcelona just for the sardines alone and the batatas bravas. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time.